hi it's Judy and welcome to another video so today I'm going to be doing my May TBR and I cannot believe that it's May almost already when I'm filming this like what on earth is going on like this year is just going so fast and it's kind of freaking me out but anyways I am really excited for my TBR in May like last month I am going to be doing a kind of more flexible TBR so I'm not necessarily going to read all these books, I'm going to kind of mood read and if I feel like picking up a specific book then I'm going to do that. I'm going to mood read, I'm going to take a chill and I'm just going to have fun and read hopefully some really good books. I do have a lot of proofs I need to read, um, I mean like about 10 and there's a couple I definitely want to squeeze in in May because they come out in like June or maybe sometime that month so I really want to get to those and then I of course have my Patreon buddy read book which I'm very excited for but before we get into the video I just want to take a moment to thank the sponsor for this video is Skillshare so I've been working with Skillshare for a few months now and I absolutely love this company so if you didn't know Skillshare is an online learning community for creators and they literally have thousands of different classes on a whole range of different topics so there's always something new to explore and like something new to learn which is something that I particularly really like because then I don't get bored of anything and it's just somewhere where you can learn new skills you can develop existing skills or just try something new and learn lots of new things and it's also really easy to find classes on there so I personally usually look for photography journaling and some other things so a class that I'm really enjoying at the moment is the find your style five exercises to unlock your creative identity classes and these classes are by Andy J Peter and he's an artist and designer and I've just been finding these classes just really really fun to be honest and really interesting and it's not something I'd usually do and I like how this is kind of getting me out my comfort zone and I'm just having like so much fun with these. Skillshare it's all about learning so you don't need to worry about any ads that might distract you and there's always premium classes being launched all the time so there's always something new and it's also super affordable because it's less than ten dollars a month with an annual subscription and you get access to thousands of different classes by so many different creators. So Skillshare have actually well, once again kindly sent me a link for you guys so the first 1000 subscribers who click the link in my description box will get a free trial of premium membership so you can explore your creativity so I highly recommend you go and check that link out because Skillshare is just such a fun place and I just honestly cannot recommend their classes enough but yes thanks once again to Skillshare for supporting my channel and sponsoring this video and now we will get into all of the books on my May TBR and you guys are probably going to need a brew for this because this is going to be a long video. So I have like a huge range of books on my TBR this month so there's graphic novels, there's manga, there's arcs, there's just general books, there's all sorts basically and I'm excited but like I said I'm gonna mood read but this is what I'm planning at the moment to read. Of course that's probably gonna change but yes. <laughs> so I'm not necessarily gonna go in any particular order but I will start with my Patreon book club pick. So in May we're going to be a buddy reading Horrid by Katrina Leno and I'm so excited to read this book. This is supposed to be super creepy, super eerie, super spooky, all of the vibes you guys know I love and I cannot wait to read this and read it with my patrons as well because it's going to be so funny I think like as trying to predict what's going to happen and things like that and yeah I'm really excited. I think I've spoken about this book a few times but basically this follows a girl and her mother and after the death of her father they move back to where her mother's originally from and they move back into her childhood home and things aren't like they seem there. The vibes are off straight away and mum's acting a bit weird and there's this weird like storage room in the house but it's not a storage room. It's like a little girl's bedroom and her mum's just kind of spiralling out of control since returning here and all this weird stuff's going on in this house and it's set in like New England in the autumn I think so it's like really cool vibes really like cold and foggy vibes like that kind of thing which again I absolutely love and I just think this sounds so like ominous and creepy and I can't wait to read it I'm excited basically and I love this cover so much so if you would like to join us on Patreon, we have a Discord for the buddy read as well where we chat about the book and I also do a dedicated spoiler filled reading vlog so I will have my Patreon linked down below if you guys want to join but yeah I'm really really excited for this and 
I hope I love it. Like, I really hope I love it because I've seen so many mixed reviews for this book, but I think I'm going to love it. Then I'll quickly show you guys the two proofs that I definitely want to read in May. One of them actually comes out in May, I think, and the other comes out in June. Hopefully I can get to both, but the first one is one I've spoken about before, and this is A Thread Needle by Carrie Thomas. This is the book that reminds me of A Discovery of Witches. It has those vibes, and there's magic in here. I think it's like forbidden magic, and it just sounds so good and basically like magic is kind of frowned upon in this world and there's like a ceremony that the main character is supposed to go to where magic gets like bound forever but then she discovers like the world of magic in this other london and i think there might be a little bit of romance in here and i think that plan goes out the window don't know a ton about this it just reminded me of a discovery which is the first time i read the synopsis and i don't want to reread it because i kind of want to go into this not knowing a lot i feel like that's probably going to be the best way and yeah just because it gave me a discovery of witches vibe that time and I love the discovery of witches I really want to read it and I love forbidden magic so this should be fun it does come out in May I think it's like the 20 something of May and yeah it is quite big so I mean it's like it's just over 500 pages long I mean it's doable and I hope it is doable because I will be reviewing it but yeah I'm very very excited for this one and you guys should check it out then the next proof that I have that I cannot wait for and I've spoken about before so I'm not going to go into this. This one has just got those kind of really spooky, dark, fairy tale, folklore kind of vibes and I'm here for that. I'll have it linked down below if you want to check out the full synopsis. But that is For the Wolf by Hannah Witten. So this comes out in June and a look at this proof. This is probably the nicest proof I've ever been sent. I'm absolutely in love with it. I love it so much. And all I know is like that there's someone's kind of sacrificed at a specific age to the wolf in the woods and that's it. I can't remember the rest of the synopsis. And I think that like people like kind of give these girls away as a teeth to the wolf so that their kings will come back or something. But I suspect that the wolf is like not what they think it is. I don't know. I don't know a ton about this and I really do want to go into this one with an open mind as well. I feel like if I read too much into the plot, I'm not going to have like as much of an open mind and especially when it comes to a book that I'm really excited about or one I'm particularly reviewing, I always try to like just go into it not knowing a lot. As long as I know the basics like and the vibe, then I'll read it and I'm very excited for this because I feel like it's going to be very, very popular when it does come out and I'm absolutely obsessed with the author's Instagram account and her whole aesthetic, so based off that alone, if her writing's anything like that, then I'm going to love it. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited for this one. But again, like I said, because I haven't really given you guys a synopsis, I will have it linked down below. I have spoken about it in videos before. But yes, I just think this is going to be like a fun, fantasy, spooky, dark, fairy tale-y, folklore -y story. <laughs> okay, so these are like really, really random and... I don't know why I kind of am gravitating towards them to read next but these are the books that are definitely on my radar at the moment so this one is Get A Life Chloe Brown by Talia Hibbert so you will all know about this book this is like a romance and I love romance in my fantasy books and fantasy is my favorite genre and romance is always my favorite part so I made a goal for this year to read more romance and I haven't done that and then a lot of my like friends have been raving about this book and everyone's been talking about the sequels and vlogging and how much they love it and now I'm like oh I want to read this book now like I want to know what the hype's about so I have the first one and the second one I just need to get the newest book um but I want to read the first one because I feel like I might fly through it if it's as good as everyone says that it is and I'll just read the synopsis really really quickly so it says Chloe Brown is a chronically ill computer geek with a goal and a plan and a list after almost but not quite dying she's come with a list of directives to help her get a life enjoy a drunken night out ride a motorbike go camping have meaningless but thoroughly enjoyable sex travel the world with nothing but hand luggage and do something bad but it's not easy being bad even when you're written out step-by-step -step guidelines what chloe needs is a teacher and she knows just the man for the job redford red morgan with tattoos and a motorbike <laughs> Red is a perfect helper in the mission to rebel, but as they spend more time together, Chloe realises there's much more to him than his tough exterior implies. Soon she's left wanting more from him than she ever expected. Maybe there's more to life than her list ever imagined. So yeah, I'm really excited this because everyone says Talia Hibbert writes romance really well. So very, very excited and I hope that I managed to pick this up because every single month I think I've put a romance on my TV and then not read it. So hopefully 
May is the month and I picked this one up, but we shall see. Then next we have House of Hollow by Crystal Sutherland. This is another dark and eerie YA book and this is fairly new out. I think it actually came out in April and yeah i just really really want to read it in this book we follow the hollow sisters and when they were children they just disappeared without a trace no one knew what went on and then they just reappear one day and they have no idea what happened to them at all no memory and all these weird things start to happen when they return and then one of the sisters goes missing so i think it's the older sister and the younger two then try to figure out what happened didn't find her but it says that they're not the only ones doing that so that sounds creepy. And then it says on the back, as they brush against the supernatural, Iris realises that the world that returned them 10 years ago might be calling them back. But just how much horror lies beneath the surface. So yeah, sounds very dark and very like creepy. And yeah, I'm here for that. And I cannot wait to read this. I've seen so many positive reviews for this book. And I just really want to like binge my way through this it's not the longest book either so i feel like it's definitely doable so i really do hope that i get to this one next month but again we shall see i will have to be in the mood for this then next is a super super random one and i honestly don't know if i'll get to this but this is cruel beauty by rosamund hudge so i randomly picked this up in the bookshop and yeah apparently it's just a really good like romancy fantasy story and it just sounded really cool on the back i hadn't really heard about it before like i'd seen the cover but just never read the synopsis um, and it says on the front her mission was to kill him her destiny was to love him we all love an assassination turned to love plot we love it we love it i'm so excited for that so it says since birth nyx has been betrothed to the evil ruler of her kingdom all because of a reckless bargain her father struck and since birth she has been training to kill him betrayed by her family yet bound to obey nyx rails against her fate but still on her 17th birthday she abandons everything to marry the all-powerful immortal ignifex I don't like that name. Her plan is to seduce him, disarm him, and break the centuries old curse he put on her people. But Ignifex is not what Nyx expected. The strangely charming lord beguiles her, and his castle, a shifting maze of magical rooms, enthralls her. As Nyx tries to free her homeland by uncovering Ignif. I can't say this guy's name by uncovering the guy's secrets she finds herself unwillingly drawn to him but even if she could bring herself to love her sworn enemy could she refuse her duty to kill him based on the classic fairy tale beauty and the beast cruel beauty is a dazzling love story about our deepest desires and the power to change our destiny you all know i love a beauty and the beast retelling you all know i love enemies to lovers yes 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 cannot wait to get to this i hope that i love it and this is a floppy paperback and that just yeah it sold me on this book Cannot wait to read this. I really do want to get to it um, just because I feel like this is like an OG Beauty and the Beast retelling. Maybe it was like one of the blueprints. So I definitely do plan to pick this up very soon. And I do feel like it's one that I will fly through quite easily. I think it will have that kind of writing style that is very easy to read. So yeah, I'd be interested to know if any of you guys have read this. Maybe this was just a book that was very popular at one point that I totally missed. But I haven't really heard a lot of people talk about it. Maybe it's because it's so old. I don't know. Maybe I'm just out of the loop. I don't know. But let me know if you've read this and what your thoughts are. Okay, so this next book is a very, very nostalgic one for me. I'm so excited and I so hope I get to this book. Although I will probably want to reread the whole series. So I read this series when I was really young and I was obsessed with it. And I honestly don't really remember much of it. I just know there's like an immortal vampire. That's all I remember. But this was literally like when i was at the height of my vampire fantasy like i wanted to be a vampire these books took over my life and i it just was everything for me it was exactly what i wanted to read and i remember telling everyone christopher pike was my favorite author at the time because i was so obsessed with these but yeah i recently rediscovered them and now i really want to read them again so the books are the last vampire and this is book one and two and yeah it's by christopher pike it's about an immortal vampire and the first ever vampires returned and this person's super evil and i think he wants to kill her and that's kind of the gist of it so yeah i'm very excited to reread this and just get those nostalgic vibes and just reread the series like I don't know I just really want a really nice comfort read and I feel like this will be it and it'll be nice to read something from my childhood so hopefully this is one that again I can fly through and yeah I'm just I'm really excited I'm like I genuinely cannot wait to read this okay so the rest are like a manga and graphic novels and I cannot wait to read some of these most of these were on my TBR for April but hopefully May is the month so I did briefly start this one that I'm going to talk about and I literally 
when I say I briefly started it, I read like two pages. And that is A Frankenstein by Junji Ito. I had it upside down. Um, yeah, Kat read this and she loved it. I recently read Smashed by Junji Ito and I absolutely loved that collection of short stories. It was just absolutely amazing and one of the best things I've read all year and I just had to go and buy some more of his books. So I plan to read Frankenstein. I actually bought this on a whim for a 24 hour readathon because I originally wanted to shiver and the bookstore had sold out. So I picked this one up and then didn't actually end up reading it but I really really want to. So this is obviously like Junji Ito's take on Frankenstein and I believe there's some other stories in here. So I'm really looking forward to reading this and then I also have Junji Ito's Shiver because I did manage to pick up eventually. I cannot wait to read this one because this is the one that I originally really wanted to read. This is another collection of short stories and I just can't wait because of how much I love Smashed. So I definitely want to read both of these and then I might also pick up Tomy finally but I'm trying to save that for as long as I can. And yeah, hopefully I get through them both and I really love them. Then next I have this manga and this is The King's Beast Volume 1. So this came out I think maybe in March and I just haven't read it yet. I pre-ordered it and I honestly didn't remember what it's about but I want to read it. On the back it says it follows a boy who shows signs of special abilities scripted to serve in the Imperial Palace as a beast servant. And it says status, symbols and shields for the royal masters to be kept or discarded on a whim. When they were children, Rangestu's twin brother Sergestu was ripped from her arms and sent to the palace to attend Prince Tenu as a beast servant where he quickly fell victim to bloody dynastic intrigues. Now in a world that promises only bitterness, Rangestu's one hope at avenging her brother is to disguise herself as a man and fired away into the palace and yeah it just sounds really, really good it's giving me Mulan vibes I love this cover it's so pretty and yeah I just hope this is a really fun manga series and I'm pretty sure the second volume is either out or coming out very soon and this just looks really cute as well and I can't wait to read it like I think it'll be a really really fun read. Then next we have Tokyo Ghoul volume 8 so I'm currently reading this series. I do plan to pick up volume 9 as well. Maybe I'll finish the whole series I don't know. But yeah I definitely do want to read this one and I'm so excited because I just absolutely adore these. My favourite manga by far so far and yeah it should be a fun time i don't think i really need to go into what this is about but if you didn't know basically ghouls are a species i guess that look human that eat human flesh and our main character in here is half ghoul and half human and it's a fun time it's wild and yeah i'm obsessed so i can't wait to read this and continue with the series so i'll definitely be picking this up and i was kindly gifted this by a subscriber as well so very excited to read this and then lastly i have monstrous volume one and two these have been on my tbr for a while now um i did read volume one a few years ago close to when it first came out and i remember bits of it i remember it's steampunky and that's it don't remember a lot else about the plot so i want to reread volume one and then move on to volume two it says that the main character is basically being hunted to destroy the powerful monstrum that lives beneath her skin but she has a mission of her own to discover the secrets of her late mother mariko and yeah Oh, hang on. I just read what volume two is about. Um, but basically, it follows this girl, and I think she's kind of part robot, basically, or something like that. And yeah, I just really like the art style in here, and it's just a steampunk kind of a vibe to it. And I'm excited. I can't wait to read these. Um, I don't want to go into them, because I feel like everyone knows what Monstrous is, and I've spoken about it so many times now. Same for most of these books. My synopsis has not been good on any of these books, simply because I'm very tired, and... I just feel like I've spoken about all of these books a million times before but I will have them all linked down below in the description box so if you guys want to go and check them out actually read the proper synopsis you can go and do that there I hope my kind of brief little summaries have been useful if you were interested in any of these but yes that is my TBR for May it definitely will not stay as it is it will definitely change throughout the month I just hope I can get through some proofs and I should have a lot more free time in May, fingers crossed, I mean, we'll see, where I can actually, like, get done a lot more reading because I definitely don't feel like I've read that much in April and I have been very slumpy throughout March and April. So I'm hoping May will be a good reading month, but we shall see. I'm, like, well over halfway to my Goodreads goal now, so I'm pretty happy with that. So I'm not, like, worried about having to read a specific amount of books. I'm just going to have a fun time and I think I will be doing maybe like a couple 24 hour readathons and a 40 hour readathon so that will be fun I should get a lot of reading done when I do those and I know you guys like them so there will be probably a 24 hour readathon vlog somewhere in May and 
yeah keep an eye out for that and i'm also probably going to be doing maybe like a books i've recently read video for march and april because i did one for january and february so if you guys would like to see a sort of wrap up of what i've been reading recently then let me know in the comments because i might do that as well but yes i hope you guys did enjoy this video if you did please do give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like to i post videos twice a week on here and i am starting my live shows back up very soon as well where we do reading sprints and it's a lot of fun and if you would like any extra content from me then make sure to check out my patreon where i do upload extra exclusive videos life updates which there are many of at the moment and photos and things like that and we do a buddy read and live shows yeah it's just a fun time and that will be linked below along with all of my social medias but yes i hope that you guys are all safe and well i hope you're reading lots of good books and i will see you in the next video bye